pointer and we will talk here about passing pointers as argument argument to function so this is what we will see so we will pass pointers as arguments to function or return pointers from function so these are two very important aspects which we are going to see now so one thing is that okay so we want to change some variable by passing it as a function argument so let's make a small function int change so we make int change and int x and here what we do is x is equal to rand of say 101 so what we expect is that now x will be changed and we return a success that okay we were able to change whatever value you sent us now in main what happens is that we have I say that okay int a is equal to 500 now we do for change change a and then do printf of percentage b and then a and being very happy that our result will come so let's see what happens so here again for pointers let's make a memory layout so this is the variable name and value so this is variable this is the memory this is the value so now i have integer a let's say it is at memory location 100 and value is 500 so that's perfectly fine now i want to change a so what happens when we change a so now in some stack memory location we create a new variable called x which is again int similar to a and this may be at some other memory location 500 and its value is now not defined so it's copied and its value is 500 so this is the same as the value of a now we do x is equal to rand 101 which means that okay let's assume this rand function returns some random integer between 0 to 101 and let's say for our execution it returns 25 so now what will happen is that this will change and now this value will be 25 so we are quite happy we return success but when we print f this a now so again we see that 500 is printed for our amusement so it's not what we wanted but we got a change that is 500 so what went wrong so the thing was that everything got changed in the copy of a which was x and not really at the memory location of a so if we want to make some corrections in this code so what we have to do is use pointers so in this function change if i do int star x so now it is a pointer and then do star of x is equal to rand of 101 so now the changes will be reflected so let's see now what happens 
so we have again a is equal to 500 which is here now again okay so here we have to pass the memory location or the pointer to a so it is passed and what happened in x so x is now a, this is a new pointer x where we pass the memory location of a so this value is now 100 and this value might be some 700 so this x is a pointer now this was an integer this is int pointer so it takes 700 is the memory location where pointer x is there and its value is 100 so now when i change star x so it means whatever the value is stored at memory location 100 change it and let's say a new random variable 7 is generated so now this value gets changed here and it changed really at the real location of a and when we come back so when we print f so we get a now 7 so where the value is now really changed so this is passing pointers as argument to function so that we want to see the reflected change reflected now one important part is again let's have the return type as pointer so what it means so now we have return type which is pointer so let's say we want a function which returns larger so int star larger i do int star a int star of b so what this function does is it just compares two numbers and returns the greater of that so if star a is greater than star of b return a else return b so we just compare the values of a and b and whichever is greater we return that so in main what we do is that void main and we do Hello? is we have so let's make two numbers int x is equal to 5 y is equal to 10 and i pass so let's say larger and in larger i pass ampersand of x ampersand of y and we should also have int star p of i and this p of i is equal to larger of these two then we do print percentage t is larger and here we do a print star of p i so now we should see what is happening in this code So again drawing the memory map so we have something for we have first so we have x and y so let them be at 100 and 100 and 2 memory location 5 and 10 are the values so now I call and there is the pointer pi so pi is pointer these are int this is int this is pointer to int let this be at location 150 so now i pass pi is equal to larger of ampersand x and ampersand y so we have now at some other memory location a is pointer b is pointer and now they are at some the memory location 500 504 and the values that are stored in is contains the memory location copy of memory location 
of x so it is 100 and this b memory location of y is 102 so what happens now when we say if star of a so we find the value that was stored at memory location of 100 which is 5 is 5 greater than 10 no so i return b so which is pointer so i return b which is 504 so pi has now so pi has value now 100 and so what does this mean so pi read so return b and b has value 102 so pi is equal to larger of x and y so pi now when we do percentage d is larger star pi so it will print for us 